Now, once all that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to create a light in her face. So it's going to be paint in the eyes and just around her face. So it gives that glow from the actual magical light from her hands. So what we need to do is we need to make a new blank layer. And we're going to go and name this Glow 1. And then we're going to go and change our color. And the code for this is going to be E2F B5 BFF, sorry. And then click OK. Now, since um, we put that color in, uh, this is going the color is not going to change from this whole part of this bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and zoom in a little bit. Um, we're going to go to our brush, change our brush size to 500. The opacity is going to be 25, and the flow is going to be 100. So what you can do is we're going to go and zoom in 400%, and you can either do this by holding the Alt key and scrolling with your scroll wheel on your mouse or you can use a zoom in tool or you can actually use this little thing down here on the bottom left hand side you'll see it like a little number and you can type in 400 and then put the percentage sign on the keyboard and it'll zoom in and then we just need to zoom in on our eye like there We'll go to our paintbrush. Now, obviously, it says in the actual written tutorial that you need a brush size of 500, but and it says you need to zoom in 400%. But obviously, if you zoom in that much, your brush is going to be huge. So, I'm going to put my brush size down to 10 and then. We're going to go and paint her actual eye, so it goes like that, like that, and then we're going to go and paint this bit, and then we're going to go over to the other eye, and I'm going to put the brush size down a bit. And then we're just going to go and do the little details. And just there. And just that bit there. And then that bit there. And then we're going to zoom out. that and as you see her eye is uh, glowing like from the light which is what we actually want and now we're going to go and create a new blank layer and we're going to go and call this glow 2 we're going to put we're going to keep the brush size at 500 and the opacity at 25 and the flow at 100 bring that up to 500 because we edited that and now what we need to do is we need to go and paint her face just over her face and her hair and just her hand so I'm going to go just there just there and just there Now, once you've done that, you've gone just uh, painted over her face. We're going to go and create a new blank layer. I'm going to call this Glow Free. We're going to keep the brush size, but we're going to change the opacity down to 15. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to paint just the side of her cheek, her left cheek right here and just 
above here like that yeah, if you need help with this you can have a look on the um, written tutorial it'll tell you where exactly to paint um, so you can get more precisely but we're just painting just above the top right of her cloak the hood so it gives that sort of it brings in the light so from the glow from the actual butterfly now once we've done that we're going to go and make a new blank layer we're going to call this glow 4 we're going to keep the brush the same and then we're just going to go and paint this side of the hair on the right hand side and just underneath the hand just there and then what we're going to do is just under a chin just there and just down just down at the bottom right hand side of a cloak now once you've done that we're going to go and create another blank layer there's loads of layers in this and we're going to go and name this glow 5 we're going to put the brush size at 10 and the opacity at 100% and the flow at 100% we're going to go and zoom in so it's 400% as it says we're going to go and zoom in on the actual pendant itself and this is the pendant and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go and follow the lines round to create that glow and then once you've done that we're going to go and zoom out and now that's looking pretty perfect so we're going to go and double click that layer which is glow 5 we're going to keep everything the same we're going to go down to um, outer glow and then we're going to change the size to 54 and then click OK and there we go there we have it now what we need to do is we need to um, put these into a group so control and click all of them and then control and G we're going to name this group um, glow on sorceress so let's type that in now that we've done that it's on to the next step Now, once we've done all that, what we need to do is create a new canvas because we need to create a vignette. So we're going to go to File, we're going to go to New. Now we're going to keep all our original settings except for the background contents that we need to change to white. So we've changed that, mine's already changed. We're going to go and click OK. Now we need to go to Filter and we need to go to Lens Correction. Now if you are working it in CS2, which I don't think anyone would be anymore, unless it's, you know, you haven't updated for a long, long time, then it'd be, then lens correction would be in filter, distort and then lens correction. But in CS5 and CS5.1, it'd just be in the filter section. What we need to do is we need to go into custom. We need to change the vignette amount to uh, minus 100 and then click OK and then what we need to do is click the move tool and bring that layer to our actual image 
and fit that in if it will fit in just there and then what we need to do is change the blend mode to multiply so go over to the blending mode and choose that and we need to go to a new layer a fill layer sorry so which is the bottom left hand side this little circle right here and we need to go and click solid color now once you've done that we're going to change the color to uh, this is going to be the code 000229 zero, zero, two, two, and then we're going to put the blend mode to exclusion so click OK I'm going to change the blend mode to exclusion and then we're going to drop the opacity to 40% and then after that one we're going to go and make another solid uh, layer so go back to the black and white uh, button and then go to solid color again you're going to change the color to 754 and it's going to be A27 and then click OK and then that's the blending modes for that is going to be soft light so if we can go and find soft light and then we're going to bring the opacity down to that to around 40 again and then we're going to do one more solid color so let's go back to solid color again and then we're going to change the color on this one and it's going to be FF7E00 and then click OK now that's going to be soft light as well and we're going to put this one down to 10% so just there now you can uh, make it so you can have bring up the opacity for a warmer picture but I just keep it there um, because it looks a lot better so once you've done that it's on to the next step now once you've done all of that what we need to do is create a photo filter now to do this we need to go back to the button that we clicked on before the black and white one and then we need to go and click on photo filter now the one we need to pick is a photo sorry the warming filter 81 so click that the density needs to be 20 and you need to make sure that you've got preserve luminosity clicked on then we go back to that button and we're going to go to color balance you need to make sure that midtones is selected and we're going to go down uh, the KN the red it's going to be set to zero the next one is going to be minus five and then the next one's going to be minus five as well now once you've done that we need to actually flatten the actual image so to do that we need to go to layer we need to go to flatten image now give it a second now once it's done that we need to duplicate the image so you can go to Control and J and then from there we're going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur now the radius needs to be 16 and then click OK now it's really blurry at the moment so what we're going to go and do is go to the blending mode and we need to go and select lighten so if we find that in the drop down menu and the opacity is we're going to go and bring down 35 now that's done um, that's basically all the tutorial all done now that is the actual image now obviously you're going to have a lot more time in your hands so yours is, you're going to spend a lot more time doing it so it's going to turn out a lot more perfect um, and at the end of this video I'll show you the finished um, image um, of what I did like I showed you at the start just so you can get a feel of what the image looks like don't forget to go back to the written 
tutorial and this tutorial so you can switch between them obviously the written tutorial has missed out a few things and it was done in CS2 so there's a few things different as we were working in CS5.1 or CS5 so also don't stop there you can put loads more effects onto it uh, loads more glowing effects um, you can even just make it your own and um, yeah don't stop there be more creative and I'll see you next time. Bye for now, guys.